Hello and thanks for joining. Today's tutorial is going to be Java tutorial number five and I'm going to go through an overview and a demonstration of how to use while loops and do while loops. As a refresher I wanted to just quickly go over the for loop which we covered in tutorial number four. How the for loop works is you set the initial value of the variable. In this case we're setting i to equal to one and then this is the condition in the second parameter here, second section of this statement i is less than or equal to 20, meaning as long as i, I is less than or equal to 20, we keep, we, we uh, met the condition. And then the third section is how we update the counter. In this case, we increment i by 1, and that's what the i++ does. And then we just print out the number. So in a do while loop, what we do, we set the number, we set the variable, in this case uh, i, we set it to 1, but then we set the maximum number and in this case I'm just calling it max num equal to 20. But then what we're saying is do this, increment it by 1 and print out the following i counter is now and then add the variable i. Do that anytime i is less than the max number. Um, and we, of course we could change any of these values. Um, but anyway, so it goes through here. Um, it'll keep going through the cycle it will print out the number, then it'll cycle through again, it'll add one to the i, and then it'll come through, and as long as it hasn't met the max number, the while statement here, it will continue to execute. Whereas a while loop, um, you, set the in, you set the value, so in this case we're setting i to one, and then we're saying while i is less than 10, go ahead and do the following, out i counter is now, and then we add with the plus i, we add the value of i, and then we increment it by one every time, which is the i plus plus here. And the while loop works with this statement right here. This is the condition. Okay, so these are a little simpler than a for loop, so I just want to go through a couple quick examples here. We will start off with, a, well, let me first off, I'm going to go into the package. I'm going to say a new, create a class, and we're going to call it, I'll call it while loops. And I'm going to go ahead and add the public static line. And now I've created that. So now what I want to do, I want to go in here and I'll start off with the, the do while loop. So I'm going to go in here and do, I'm going to set i equal to, let's start at 1. Then I'm going to go ahead and set a max number. And let's start at, I'll do 20 is fine. Oops is equal to 20. And then what are we going to do? We're going to do and then we're going to open up curly brackets and what are we going to do? We're going to take i, the value of i, and we're going to increment it by 1 every every time we go through a loop. Then we just put a semicolon there. We hit return. And then what do we want to do? We want to do a system out dot print line. So I'm going to type SYSO and hit control tab and it should uh, that's a shortcut. And then I'm going to say i counter is now, and I'm going to put a colon, then a space, and then I'm going to go ahead over here and I'm going to add the variable, which is the plus sign. And we're going to plus i. And then we're going to close the curly bracket. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go over here and we run this, since it's a do while loop, we say run it while, while what? while i, the value of i, is less than this variable here, max num. Okay, and then we close and we close that with a semicolon. And I'm going to do a control S and save it. And now I'm going to go ahead and run that. Run it as a Java application. And now you can see here, the max number starts at one starts at two actually because I set the initial value to one and then I go to twenty. So what happens here since it increments by one it starts at two. So if I wanted to I could change that to zero and I could start counting at one. So I'm gonna do control S for save it. I'm gonna rerun it again. Run my Java application and now you can see here it goes through twenty and it starts at one. Okay? So then what I can do is um, I can modify these as I need to. So that's how the do, do while loop works. And then so again, 
set the initial value, set the maximum number, increment by one, and then we don't need to put I counters now. We could just do this if you want to. We could get rid of that and just increment, you know, one, one through whatever number you want to set. And then what we, um, and then what we do is say we run that until I is less is less than the variable that we set, which is 20. Okay. So that's how a, a do while loop works. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and modify this. We're going to go and do a while loop. So I'm going to do this. I'm just going to comment out all these lines here. And how I do that is I go in there and I just do the, the two forward slashes. So the while loop, how that's going to work, this takes less code. So I'm going to say integer i is equal to 0. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to say while, while what? While i is less than 10 we're going to go ahead and then we're going to open up uh, curly brackets here and then we're going to go ahead and do the following we're going to do system system out dot print line oh, I hit the wrong button there SYSO control tab and then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing here we're going to say i counter is now and then we're going to go here and go outside of the quotes add a plus sign and say I close the parenthesis add the semicolon and then what are we going to do we're going to increment I by one every time okay and then we put a semicolon there and then let's see what we've got here it looks like we're missing Let's see, I think we need one more, let me add it up here, one more close curly brackets, and I think that'll do it. Okay, so now I'm going to do Control S to save it. By the way, so every time you open a curly bracket, there needs to be a corresponding close bracket. Alright, so when you click on this, you should see the matching pair for it. Okay, so... Um, when you see that syntax error, just make sure there should be, if there's four open curly brackets, there needs to be four closed curly brackets. And of course it depends where you put them to in many cases. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and say run as Java application. And now you see over here, I have I counter 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, through 9, because 9 is less than the 10 here. Okay. So now, of course, I could change that number. I could increment by, I could do plus equal three. And now that would increment by values of three. I'm going to say run as Java application. Prompted me to save it since I didn't save it. And now you see over here, 0, 3, 6, 9. Okay, so that's as high as it's going to go. So that's really what I wanted to share with you here on this example. And please subscribe. Take care. Thanks.